Alright, what it do, y'all? This your boy, Pat. Now, I know I said that I wasn't going to interfere in this month. I was going to leave it all to Psycho Rick. But after seeing this story right here, I had to put my two cents in it. I could not put Rick up to this right here. Now, as you see with this story right here, man, Twitter has hit the ultimate level. You in full retard, man. And why? Because of this article right here. British Army under fire for a racist tweet that showed soldier with black face paint. Now, the story basically goes that um, the British Army has apologized after posting an image of a soldier with a blacked up face on social media. The image published on the Army's official Twitter account showed a soldier wearing black face as part of his camouflage in a jungle. The tweet, which was swiftly deleted, was described as stupid and racist by outraged social media users, while anti-racism campaigners said the foyer should feel embarrassed. Okay, now, this is what really works my nerves right here, man, that the British Army right here, you know, the Army apologized to these punk-ass titty baby snowflakes because they got all oversensitive, over-offended, and but hurt because of this right here. All these, I'm saying, you know, see, this, this, these are the type of people that really get on my damn nerves, man. You always got these, you always got these crybaby snowflakes who basically live by this creed. Everything is sexist. Everything is racist. Everything is homophobic. And you have to point it all out. It's like since then, that's all they do. They find everything and anything offensive, especially if it's something that they don't like or they don't want to see. Meanwhile, they go out there and they offend everybody left and freaking white, especially if he is a straight white man. They will not hesitate to insult, berate, belittle and things like that and everything. You know, we already seen many examples of that. We've seen that from saying from people like Zarna Yoshi. We've seen people like I'm saying what? Annalise Nielsen, we've seen people do that by Clementine Ford. The list goes on and freaking on. And these crybaby SJWs, man, they will, like I told you, they find everything, everything fucking offensive. And the thing is, what is really offensive about this? This is nothing but a, a, Santa, but a, a British Army soldier. I'm like saying, who's in the jungle of Belize, as the story described, like say, you know, I'll leave the link in the description below so you can go and read it yourself. And he's just looking back with a surprised look on his face. But to the triggered SJWs, all they see is a white man in black face. If they actually take the time to examine the picture or if they ever took the time to actually get into the soldier's shoes itself, you know, if they knew anything about the military which I'm pretty sure they don't, like I told you. See, these are also the same type of people who will sit up here and they will berate and they will belittle this soldier, call him racist and all this right here and everything. But if shit was to hit the fan, these are the same people who will tuck their tail between their legs, hightail, run, and expect this soldier right here to defend them just so they continue to whine, cry, bitch, and complain about him. The same, I'm saying the same soldier in the same armies that y'all sit up here and y'all belittle are the same soldiers y'all expect to save y'all sorry ass when the time comes. And that's what makes me sick about these SJWs. Because the, you think you think they actually going to fight the enemy to defend their rights? No, they're going to bow down to them because these are some weak. These are some weak ass people. And that's what's sad, man, that you have people who have fought and died, man. To give these people these rights to bitch whenever they want to bitch. That's what really angers me. And to all the people who found this tweet right here offensive and talking about, oh, that's racist. Oh, they were in blackface and things like that. You know what? You need to go and take a good look in the mirror because if you think this is racist, you are the fucking racist. Because I'm telling you, you will find, like I told you, you find anything and everything sexist and racist because maybe you may be thinking a little bit about yourself, you know. Ask yourself. The only people that find everything sexist, racist, and homophobics are sexist, racist, and homophobes. You never thought about that, did you, snowflakes? So that's y'all problem. A lot of y'all are basically the pot who calls the kettle black. When you sit up here and you talk about everybody being this and that, honestly, 
I think you're really talking about yourselves and you're just insecure and you want to put all your insecurities on somebody else just to make yourself feel better. And I know what a lot of you are thinking of right now. Oh, how can you talk? You sit up here and you use that Robert Johnny Jr. I'm saying things right here as part of your video right there. He's wearing blackface. That's racist. Okay, if Robert Downey Jr. and Tropic Dun Thunder is racist and things like that, you want to know who else is racist? Sean and Marlon Wayans, Chris Rock, Whoopi Goldberg, Lenny Henry, Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, who all in their movie and who, who all in their movie career have done whiteface, and nobody has called them out on it. Everybody considered like, oh, ha ha, that's a joke. Even me, I think it's funny when they do it and things like that. And Robert Downey Jr. and Tropic Thunder, I love that fucking movie. He played that part really well. So if you're going to sit up there and you're going to call like people like Robert Downey Jr. and people like this right here, who this guy, he's not even wearing blackface. He is just wearing your basic standard camouflage that you use, especially when you're in like deep forest, especially like where they're training right now in the jungle of Belize. But like I told you, you snowflakes don't see that. You only see and you only hear what you want to see and hear. And that's the sad part about you. But this is your boy Pat right here. I just wanted to get that off my chest to saying, you know, you need to stop seeing things as sexist, racist, and homophobic. Because honestly, it's just an ugly reflection of what you act like. You're the real sexist, racist, and homophobe. Think about that the next time you're complaining about something. But anyway, I'm going to end this right here saying peace out, y'all.